Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna Marin, and today we're going to be discussing seven things successful songwriters do and how you can learn from them. Prioritize creation. Put time aside daily to build, write, and record new songs. Building a strong portfolio of music is crucial, and it will serve as your resume, especially when you don't have any credits. Having a catalog of music can help them see the full picture and what you have to offer. Create a browsable music library. It could be something as simple as different playlists on SoundCloud or something more tailor-made like a custom-built library on your website. Don't wait for inspiration to spark some magic inside of your heart because sometimes it just doesn't happen. There will be days that you have to be the source of your magic and you just have to get started. Whenever I find that I'm having a lack of motivation or inspiration, I try to shake up my routine and start my session in a new way. Instead of starting on the first verse, I might jump all the way over to the bridge, add some oohs and ahs and random phrases. On the surface, I smile. But I'm still hurting, I'm still hurting. Other times I might just download a random splice loop and just start creating with no goal or expectation. Sooner or later, I find myself miles into the song with an endless flow of lyrics and melody. One of the biggest struggles we face as indie artists is matching that professional sound we hear from some of our favorite artists who, unlike some of us, have access to major label budgets and incredible audio engineers. So with that in mind, DistroKid has just launched Mixia. It's a tool that can help with the finishing touches on your song, give you that polished vibe we all need to feel confident about sharing new music with our fans. The interface is really simple and easy to understand, and you can master unlimited songs for $99 a year. So to master your song, all you have to do is go to distrokid.com, click this button in the top right hand corner, scroll down to Mixia, and drag and drop your file. Once the track is done uploading and doing its mastering magic, you get these controls here where you can make any adjustments that you think are necessary. So let's take a listen to what we've got. I'm gonna press play and tinker around with the intensity and EQ settings. The new master is really forward. The vocals are very clear and kind of in your face. And also the overall leveling has come up a bit, which is really what I wanted in the long run. A mastered high quality WAV file that's ready to be uploaded to DistroKid and shared with the universe. If you're interested in becoming a member of DistroKid, check out this link below available in the description box. When you sign up, you'll get 7% off your first year and you can learn more about their awesome tools designed for indie artists. It's not a secret that the music industry is all about who you know. And yes, the internet might have leveled the playing field a little bit, but there are still so many avenues and ventures that will never be presented to you until you have made the right connections. And I'm referring to things like publishing deals, record deals, distribution deals, TV, film, and commercial placements, or getting your music placed on a major artist's album or single. So what can you do to get further in the connections department? An easy place to start is by getting more involved in the music scene in your city. Start going to shows and events that are going to put you in the room with like-minded people. And don't always aim for the obvious choices. Sometimes the most critical relationships are with people who haven't even reached the top yet. The up and coming producers, writers, and executives right next to you can grow with you and become your greatest ally. And we can't forget social media. It can help you skip the line and get on the radar of people and companies you'd never imagine. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there and show off your work. Sometimes our quirks can be an unfair advantage. It's the one thing that sets you apart from the rest of the crowd. Maybe you have a memorable tone of voice like Prince, Macy Gray, Elvis, or James Brown. Or a specific style of writing that ignites a lot of controversy or conversation like Childish Gambino or Eminem. Whatever it is, lean into it and make it a part of your signature sound and keep everyone coming back to you to get it.
Art is always subject to criticism and other people's opinions. It comes with the territory. Today's successful songwriters are not crying over one person's opinion on a song that they made. People are gonna say and feel what they want about your music and there is nothing you can do about it. So stop wasting your time on things and people you cannot control and go find the audience that will appreciate your music or if the feedback happens to be constructive, take it, learn from it, grow from it, and make a better song. I am yet to meet a songwriter that doesn't have an ongoing list of inspiration that has been collected and curated just through living life. This is an excellent place to pull from on those days where you just can't find the right things to talk about. Check out your inspiration list and see what you've got. In the past, I have found inspiration in everyday conversations. Sometimes I'll be talking to a friend and one of us says something that feels like a song lyric or at least a interesting song concept. I've gotten melody and lyric ideas from my dreams at night. I will open up the voice note, voice memo, and try to record whatever I can, even though sometimes it is a bunch of crap and it sounds horrible. <laughs> Every now and again, I do have something interesting or a string of words that could potentially lead to something cool. I love getting lyric ideas from movies, books, and rap lyrics. There's inspiration everywhere. You've just gotta have your eyes peeled and find it. Learning the ins and outs of music business is important to protect yourself. Now, this isn't something you have to do to be successful, but I have met my fair share of superstar songwriters who are stuck in nightmare deals. If you aren't going to learn the music business, at least get a trustworthy attorney who can read over those complicated agreements and translate them into a language you speak. There are so many different components and moving parts parts to the music industry, I urge you to try your best to inform yourself about all of them. Here's what you can do to get started educating yourself on the music business. Read the unofficial Bible of the music industry, everything you need to know about the music business by Ronald S. Passman. Could also be Donald. I will put it on the screen so we know for sure. Register with the appropriate agencies and organizations. Some collect royalties and others could be helpful in times of need. Attend educational events and conferences. You can even take courses. I attended Musicians Institute. Not only did I study vocal performance, but I also minored in music business. Learning the business side may be boring, but it will protect you and make you less likely to end up in a scenario you might regret. On the upside, once you know the rules, you can really play the game. You can negotiate more interesting deal structures when it comes to publishers and labels. Now that you have learned some habits of successful songwriters, let's make sure your networking skills are in tip top shape. Learn how to build long lasting relationships with this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below, and until next time.